Hi, today we're making Helen's old time potato salad. Chef Carl, food whisperer, taking the mystery out of cooking. Hi, I'm Chef Carl, and today we'll be making Helen's old time potato salad, a recipe passed to the family by my wife's mother and my wife, and now I'm going to try to make it. And we have two kinds of red potatoes. This one is just called a red potato for boiling, and this here is what they call a baked a beef potato, it's a little smaller. So I got about four and a half pounds of potatoes here with uh, the skins on, and I did weigh them on the bathroom scale. So the bigger potatoes, I'm gonna cut in half. And what we wanna do is just add some salt, a couple tablespoons of salt. You go, oh my goodness, that's a lot of salt. But I really only gets into the skin a little bit. It really doesn't permeate the whole potato. So we're going to take a knife. I, I don't wear gloves because I break out. I wash my hands. I sanitize my cutting board. But if I'm doing a catering, I will put a, a, a couple gloves on. So we're just going to cut this in half. Always work with a sharp knife. Keep your fingers back. Have a smile. And don't be scared. Don't be scared. So... Like I said, always wipe off stuff, not from the front, from the back, otherwise you're going to see red, and I do mean red. Alright, now I'm going to put some water in the sink. Hot water. Just enough to cover potatoes and we'll put a lid on it, and it's going to simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's knife tender. You don't want to overcook them because when you, after you skin them they're going to fall apart. You want them a little al dente just like in a pasta. This is the water, nicely salty, like they say in pasta, salty like the ocean. So I'm going to put that heat up, cover it. Now Basically, by the time you peel the four and a half pounds of red potatoes, and you can use white, but they're not as firm, is you'll end up with about four pounds of potatoes. We're going to slice them, not dice them. And I use, for that amount, one cup of diced celery, one cup of diced onions, and a half a cup of peppers. It can be red, green, yellow. It doesn't matter. So when, when you're cutting your celery, again, you don't want to be wobbling like a weevil. Always put the point of the knife down. And this is also how you would make celery sticks. Okay. And I'm just going to cut a little bit because there are most of this. And you, I push my fingers towards my thumb. I keep showing this. It's important. That's how you get the control. So. And it doesn't matter if it's a cup and an eighth, a cup and a quarter. You can have two cups if you really like crunch. Same thing with the onion. These are ribs here. And when we cut through, you don't want to cut through the whole onion. You fall, you cut into about three quarters to five eighths of the onion through so it doesn't fall apart on you. But you follow these ribs. And as I'm coming to this part, and cutting on an angle. Otherwise you're going to get one big piece of onion on the end. Again, I'm not going to cut, cut all of it. And there's your diced onion. And we will put this in our bowl of potato salad. The pepper, I always go flat. And I, the pepper is for a little flavor. Make my like sticks. And that's it. So for now, until the potatoes are done, we're going to take a little rest. The red potatoes have been boiling for about 20 minutes, 22 minutes. We're going to check a potato. The knife should go in. It should be firm, but it should be able to go out. Some of the skin is starting to peel back. So we're going to take these potatoes now, drain the water off, and cool them down for about 5 or 10 minutes in ice cold water. I'm going to peel them. 
and then we're going to slice them up and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're finishing up slicing the potatoes and we want to slice them in about a quarter inch nice slices. We're not dicing them. And if you're nervous about the potato rolling, then just cut it in half. And I've got, as I said, I started off with four and a half pounds of potatoes, red potatoes. And I think I probably got three and three quarter pounds somewhere there left. And this is our bowl. We only, it's a Tupperware bowl we've had for probably 30 years. And I only, we only use it for potato salad. And if you got a little piece of skin on, don't worry about it. It just makes it more homemade. So as I said, now we're going to add our cup plus or minus a diced celery. A cup of diced onions. And a half a cup to a cup of green peppers. You can use red peppers. And that's what it's going to look like now. We're going to add a little Italian spice, which has got uh, oregano, basil, uh, rosemary, thyme. What thyme is it? I don't know. Obviously, it's later than I think. A little granulated garlic. Don't use garlic salt. Garlic salt is 85 to 95 percent garlic. I mean, salt. And why pay for salt? Four dollars a pound for salt or for eight ounces. Fresh ground black pepper. If you don't like pepper, just leave it out. Okay. Now what we're going to do? We're going to put. We we like the zesty Italian dressing. It's got a lot of flavor. Usually we just freelance it, but. That's approximately a cup. There we go. I like the wish one, but you can use any kind you want. And I use a Miracle Whip and not mayonnaise. I'm just going to estimate a cup because it just sticks to the cup. And we're going to give it a nice stir. And we usually like to sit overnight to let every flavor is mingle. And it's sort of like more of a German, German potato salad. You can even add bacon to this if you wanted. And of course every batch of potatoes is a little bit different. This looks a little bit dry. So I'm going to add like maybe another half cup. And maybe another squirt of the miracle whip. I mean of the Fishbone dressing. And like I said, some people put eggs. I, we don't like eggs on this particular recipe. Now I have all this stuff that I diced earlier. I'm not going to have let it go to waste. It will just have it nice and crunchy. And that's it. Now I'm going to, to taste this. I'm going to taste it again tomorrow, but mm. Mm. that is good. Mm. Mix them on Damn, delicious. So tomorrow, you could use it right now if you wanted to. But if you use it the next day, add a little more Miracle Whip just to thin it out. And thank you. If there's anything you want to see on Chef Carl Food Whisperer, let us know. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to uh, sign in and register when we, uh, for our channel and there will be a bell there if you hit the bell that means we'll let you know when the next one's coming out so thank you for coming into my home Chef Carl saying bon appetit and have a great day